24 hours, seven days a week, 24-7, Madison County School Sports.com. Hello everyone, I'm Madison County School Superintendent Elmer Thomas, and I want to thank you for watching Madison County School Sports Television. Follow Madison County School Sports Television on Twitter or like us on Facebook, MCS TV. And of course, watch all of our videos on YouTube. A special thank you to our great sponsors, Jack Burford Chevrolet in Richmond, State Farm Insurance, Jerry Goble, ExpressRoofing.net, Luxury Pet Service, Equipment, Sales and Rentals, Tatum Enterprises, Cumberland Valley National Bank, First Gear, and Pro Signs. If you'd like to be a great sponsor of Madison County School Sports Television, give us a call 314-7291 or find us on Facebook or MadisonCountySchoolSports.com. Welcome to Mass Central High School. Girls basketball action on a cold Saturday night. The Henry Clay Blue Devils have traveled down I-75 to play the Lady Indians of Madison Central. Lady Indians come in with a record of eight and seven. Losers of three in a row. The Blue Devils come in with the record of nine and two. They beat Lafayette last week. Regarded by many to be the top team in the region in overtime. Donald Foster alongside Tyler Ross. Tyler, we should have a good one on our hands tonight. I believe so. Uh, Henry Clay, they look like they're, uh, they're ready to go this evening. As they say, they come in 9-2. and two. Indians 8-7, so Indians looking to get off that three-game losing streak. Second three-game losing streak of the season. Quickly, starters for your Lady Indians. At number 14, Lindsey Johns, 23, Mally Cornett. 21, Casey Snide, number two, Emily Willoughby, and 41, the senior, Raven Kane. Get ready for the tip. 23, Molly Cornett. Molly Cornett for the jump. And controlled by the Blue Devils. Quickly get a backdoor cut. Missed the layup. Knocked away by Raven. Lucky break by Central. At the Henry Clay just wasn't able to hit that. They just fell asleep. Let somebody get behind him is. Emily Willoughby will control the point for the Indians. Off to Casey. Snide drives, falls, and is tripped. First foul of the night. Goes against Davis. Into Kane. Central uh, just trying to move the ball around, try to see what uh, Henry Clay can, uh, what the carry to. Call a carry. Turnover for the Indians. Indians not a shooting the ball very well to begin the season. 32% on the young season. Season's not that young, actually. But Shot they way off the mark. Rebound by Raven. But the, the defensively, you got to love that uh, press that Central has. It um, has been great in turnovers. But two trips, it. two turnovers, and a basket. Two nothing. Devils on top. 7 6 to play, opening quarter. Henry Clay's coming out with the press of their own here. And Johns goes in. And Cornett misses the layup. All the way down, no good. Neither team's getting the layup and throws it away. Coach Cooksey was open. Still too easy for Henry, Henry Clay. Uh, Central shouldn't just let him go to the basket no. like that. Got to pick up the ball, stop ball. A lot of pressure on the guard to get it into Emily, and that's 
back court, wasn't it? I As it so. is, this turnover number three of the ball game. Up and in, no, up and out, foul against number 10. Lucky break for the Indians. That could have been two easy points right there. I tell you, Livers with the foul, number 10. Well, three trips, three turnovers. See if the Indians can get anything going this time. Just about turned that one over. Snide. Emily walked, no call. Up and off. Strong rebound by 22, Nakisha Green. And here they come. Somebody needs to take the rim off the basket. Neither team can hit. 2 0, 6 11. Lindsey Johnson with the answer that the Indians needed. Tie ball game. Six minutes, we're tied at two. 23 wide open, or 32 wide open. Up and off. Nobody blocks out 25. Cornette deflects it. Will be takes over, throws it across court. Nope, turnover. Turnover number four. Reach in foul against Casey Snide. Both teams really getting off to a rough start. Looks like Henry Clay has been attacking the basket a little bit more, but still not nearly the efficiency that you like to see from either team. Mass subs getting to come in for Henry Clay. There's two, four Henry Clay players at the bench at the table to come in. One, no, all five are going to come out. Into the game for Henry Clay. Looks like Coach Stanford for uh, Henry Clay is not very happy. An all new five. Four right now, pending the extra, the free throw. Nope. She's going to stay on the floor. Rebound. Raven. Will be scans of the floor looking for somebody. Gives it back to Kane. This pressure has given the Indians all kinds of fits. That's five turnovers early. Two and a half minutes, five turnovers, two points. At the start, Cooksey and Lakes were looking for. Working hard inside, the big girl down low. Draws a foul, that's a horrible call. That's horrible. It's a cheap one on two, Emily. Emily Nonetheless, Henry Clay's back on the line and Hannah opportunity Young for two more four, points. Two Hannah Young, the six foot one senior at the free throw line for two shots. Got 520 left in the opening quarter. It's a slow start, three to two. This is second. Raven Kane with another rebound. A half court press going to come now. A little trout going to need some help. They get it in the form of Lindsay. Out of bounds. Stays with the Lady Indians. The Lady Devils here. They're very active on, uh, on the defensive end, knocking it out. It's what you want on the defense. Get, to, get your hands up, moving. Cornette, down low, kick out, up, and Casey Snide. Indians retake the lead In there. a 2-2-1, full court press. The big 6-1 senior grabs it. And number five, banks it in. Braxton Price. Price. I guess the banks are open on a Saturday night. Five to five, we're all tied up. Almost a turnover there, but stays with the Indians. The back door for Lindsay, and it's out of bounds off of, off of Johns. Turnover number six. Well, with that being said, it's still tied at five and five, so slow, slow start to the game. Two, two, one, full court. Jump, Jump ball. ball. Position arrow to the Lady Indians. 
Turnover Devils. A little one four UCLA high post look. Screen across for Cornette. Mally shouldn't have put it on the ground. She just kept it and went up to the basket. She put it on the floor. I believe it's a good idea to, to give it to her, but yeah, she should have kept it on the ground. Should have put it on the floor. Three and a half minutes opening quarter. Five all. Down low to big 55, up and off, but she draws a foul. Jordan Jackson to the line. Foul was on. Only the third team foul for the Indians, though. Foul on Kane, her first, team third. Jordan Jackson at the line for two shots. Jackson, a 5'10 forward, junior forward. It's the free throw. Front iron, nobody went after the rebound. Kane with another board. Raven comes in, averaging seven rebounds a game. She's got seven already. Raven, Johns, tries to get it Cornette, out of bounds, still with the Indians. Initially, it was a good job to beat the press, give yeah. it to Kane, but uh, just nothing came out of it. Not quick enough, gotta be more quick. Cornette slides down, didn't get it to her. Now we're gonna reset, 320. Up top, Emily's going to reset, going down. Basket shot is up, no good. Backside rebound, Snod. Good job crushing the backside for Casey Snod. Great effort by Snod. And also a good look by John there. That's a shot she could hit. Foul is on Jordan Jackson. And to the line, Casey Snod, two. Casey Snod's a top softball player for the Lady Indians. Won't be too much longer. She'll be taking the field. After basketball season. Four points for Casey. With the free throw now, five. Seven, six. Indians drop back to the half court. Now we're going to trout. Jackson down low. Big girl down low, Hannah, no good. Gets her own miss. Jordan gets it. Jordan I didn't particularly like the matchup with Willoughby down there. It's not really the person you no. want to see down there. Young misses, Jackson got the rebound. Kane, three, no. Rebound Jackson, here comes the Devils running. Cooksey calls for a man defense. Somebody's got a match. Over to Young. Almost too easy there. And a young basket. It's hard to stop 6-1. I mean, girl 6-1, what can he do? If she turnover, layup. 12 to seven. Seventh turnover for and Blue Devils the Indians. Come back with the, uh, with the Lindsay, press. basket. Lindsay, Johns. Lindsay with four. Johns and Snide, the only two Indians to score so far. 12 to nine. Got to get Will to be a little bit more active. Get him to get ahead of, up ahead of the press. That's a walk. Beerses see the matchup now with Young, 33, and Cornette, 23. Malley is listed at six foot. Young is 6-1, so should be a decent matchup. See if Cornette can handle it down low. Almost another turnover for the Indians. Screen across for Kane. Short. Nobody stopping ball. Nice little show it and take it to the rack. 14-7, 14-9. have really found an answer how they score against uh, Kane and uh, looks like Cornette. Willoughby, Snide, Snide's gonna drive. Take the shot, not there. 
They've got the matchup. Nice steal by Lindsey. On defense, they're going to have to stop the ball. 53 seconds left. See if the Indians slow it down a tad. They have. Just trying to get a nice look. They're going to go that 1 4 look again. Going to use a high screen for Lindsey. Off the mark. Out of bounds, though, to the Indians. Casey Snyder takes it out of bounds. The call is special from Coach Cooksey. Screen across for Johns to go to the corner. Cornet slides down the lane. Basket. And we have a stoppage in play. Really nice look by the Indians. Yes, uh, I like that play coming out of bounds. 14 11. 29 seconds. That's a two. That's a backside rebound. That's a walk. Two seems players can't hold it at the same time. Seems like they just couldn't decide which one wants yep. it. And if two of them hold it at the same time, it's a travel. 18 seconds. Indians can tie with a three. Get within one with the two. 11 seconds, here comes Snide, down the lane, throws it up and rims out. Devil's gonna run it, six to five, four, foul. It's gonna be the second foul on Kane. That was a hard foul. Yeah, too. Raven didn't need to commit that foul. I don't think they needed it. She, I don't think she's gonna hit the free throw. Looks like somebody's gonna be coming out. Kane to the bench. Taylor Vance checking in to replace her. Number four, Taylor Vance, a 5'8 junior guard. Only 2.4 seconds left. And she makes in the second free throw. 15-11. They dribble it out. I thought it was 15-11. It's 14-11 into one quarter. Devils on top. We'll be back for the second quarter after this. A special thank you to our great sponsors. Jack Burford Chevrolet in Richmond. State Farm Insurance. Jerry Goble. ExpressRoofing.net. Luxury Pet Service. Equipment, Sales and Rentals. Tatum Enterprises. Cumberland Valley National Bank. First Gear and Pro Signs. If you'd like to be a great sponsor of Madison County School Sports Television, give us a call, 314-7291, or find us on Facebook or MadisonCountySchoolSports.com. Small car, big coverage. Back to Southern High School, second quarter action for the Lady Devils, Lady Indians, and it is 15-11. I thought it was. They just didn't put the free throw up. Devils get the ball in bounds. As I said, Henry Clay is at 92. Looking at that back door. Look at that. Cornette out of nowhere. Cornette, that was a, the play that that was needed there. That was just too easy for the Blue Devils. They just backdoored him. Cornette at one time was averaging seven blocks a game. Slide in. Up and under. 25 with the basket. Eric and Davis with the easy basket. And they're just trapping in the wings. Gets it over Willoughby. 
And now KC. Cornette down low. I like the matchup down low with her. Indians just have to come out with a little bit more energy, keep it up. And Vance has the ball. Turned over. the Cornette, but picked off. Eighth turnover of the first half. Seven oh five left. Seventeen to eleven. High pick to the basket. No one picks her up. Weak side's got to pick her up. Lucky we missed. She missed the layup. <laughs> Taylor Vance stays in the ball game. As another turnover. That's number nine. And the easy layup there. Thought she was gonna dunk it for a moment. She had that breakaway. It kind of looked like she was. Eight point advantage now. Indians in danger of falling behind big time. Trap in the corner, slings it over. Another turnover, there's number 10. Cornette with the foul. Yeah, I was gonna say there, don't foul. The fifth foul on the... Mally Cornett with the Destiny with the foul. Cornett's first, team fifth. And she hits. 11-point lead, 22-11. They've doubled up the Indians. This is a crucial possession right here for the Indians. She's they trapped. Got She's got lucky to get out of it. Lindsay picks it up. Now Lindsay's trapped. Turnover. Basket, timeout. Give me a full timeout. Timeout on the floor, 24-11. A special thank you to our great sponsors, Jack Burford Chevrolet in Richmond, State Farm Insurance, Jerry Goble, ExpressRoofing.net, Luxury Pet Service, Equipment, Sales and Rentals, Tatum Enterprises, Cumberland Valley National Bank, First Gear, and Pro Signs. If you'd like to be a great sponsor of Madison County School Sports Television, give us a call, 314-7291, or find us on Facebook or MadisonCountySchoolSports.com. Hi everybody, I'm Samantha Burford and I want you to watch MadisonCountySchoolSports.com Follow Madison County School Sports Television on Twitter or like us on Facebook, MCS TV and of course, watch all of our videos on YouTube. Hello everyone, I'm Madison County School Superintendent Elmer Thomas and I want to thank you for watching Madison County School Sports Television. Follow Madison County School Sports Television on Twitter or like us on Facebook, MCS TV, and of course, watch all of our videos on YouTube. Back after the timeout, 6.02 left, Indians trail 24-11. So, Don, looking at it, how would you uh, stop the Livers here in the Blue Devils? First thing the Lady Indians are going to have to do is they have to take care of the ball. And on the defensive end, you have to pick up the ball. When it comes to half court, you can't allow her to go straight to the basket. Um, you have to leave your man, you have to leave your man. But you can't give, her, give the ball handler a clear lane to the basket. But this press is giving the Lady Indies enough fit, so as Johns to the basket draws a foul. That's one of the key steps, too. The Indians have to drive in on that press, put their head down and don't know to get something. Don't know if you could hear Coach Cooksey up here, but he was telling Lindsay that's every time. Every time you drive to the basket, you will get a foul. 
especially in girls' basketball, they like to blow the whistle and protect the females since they are the weaker species, they feel like, which is a joke. I've had girls before that knock your head off. But they do. They blow the whistle pretty quick in the girls' game, so that's all night. Free throw. As Johns gets her fifth point. Looks like we're setting up for a press, perhaps. She missed a second. Got Casey and Will being. Uh-oh, turnover. Nope, couldn't react fast enough. <coughs> Boy, 25 wants the ball. She gets it. She's off the back iron. Offensive glass, though. Just a nice hustle play by the Blue Devils, and they reset. Destiny Carter in a zone now for the Lady Indians. Liver, she wants it. It's a 3-2 match. Deep three out of the corner, no good. Offensive glass, though. Cornette with the block. And that is one late call. <laughs> we'll take it. Cornette draws a foul. That's team foul number six, five. I believe it's five. Her scoreboard is a little slow in reacting, but as it is, it's a foul. And John's, I mean, Willoughby has it, bringing it up the floor over to Lindsay or Vance. Taylor just about walked. Up. Cornette, now to Lindsay, all the way down the lane. Block, oh, charge. he called a charge. That was god awful. I didn't see the feet set, but obviously the referee saw something we didn't. First foul on Lindsay. Yeah, it was awful. 24-12 is a score, Blue Devils still on top. The purpose of this zone here is to make sure 23 here run to the corner, don't shoot a wide open three. Knocked it down, Indians, or Devils get it back. 25 in the lane, no good. Rebound, Cornette, strong rebound. rebound. Cornette coming up with some key rebounds. Snide turns it over though. 12th turnover of the first half. Tyler, 12 turnovers, I don't care who you're playing. You can beat Madison Middle with 12 turnovers in one half. Not like this. Another turnover central, they, they should be thinking about another timeout. They get it across, down the lane, up. Got to get above the basket. That's Lindsey with the backside, no. Look at this, baseball pass out. One-on-one -on -one against Willoughby. Pull up, shot, no. Cornette. Thought about trying to throw it up deep. Good decision not to. Now Vance. they're down. Vance. Basket. Vance. That's the kind of plays we need to see from the Indians. That, that was nice. Now you got to get some defensive stops. 26-14, 3-47. Here comes that hockey sub back in. We got five new girls going in. Blue Devils are platooning, it seems like. He's, he's got that John Calipari playbook. <laughs> Platoons. See, Coach Cal, he's already started something in the high school level now. Everly checks in for the Lady Indians, Candy Everly. A 5'11 junior. Cornette is working her butt off underneath. She's got her hands full with the big girls down low. Run Vance on the baseline. That's a kick. Saved us from a turnover. They're going to stay in their little zone. 310. Indians need to make a little run. They're going to screen across for Cornette. Not there. Johns. Gets it up. Thought about it, takes it off the mark. Rebound to Jackson. See, now no one's picking ball up. She got away to the three-point line for even thought about it. Turnover for the Devils. A little hustle play here and there would make a huge difference in this game. Got to get this down to about seven before halftime. Johns has it stripped away. Plays like that, though. Almost out of bounds. Rebounded or recovered. She tried that one-hand pass, and it worked. The big girl inside, Hannah Young gets it. You see number four just stand there? Yeah. She must be winded. She has got to be tired or something. Will be. 
It's a back screen try to back screen. Johns from the short corner, no good. Nice hustle, stay with the Indians. Ford just came back into the ball game, though. I mean, how can she be tired? Sub in. Looks like she's going Snide out. Snide back in. Snide in for Vance. She replaces Vance. Cornette has to get rid of it, turns it over. No foul, no foul. She's going to throw it off the back iron. But Hannah Young inside chooses it. Indians recover it. Hannah's teed off down there at a little 33 for the Devils. Gives the will be. Shots. Shot. shot. Good shot. Snyder with her second three. Time makes it 26. 17, is that correct? That's yep. correct. 26 17. It's a 30 second timeout. We'll, we'll stay here. You know, as I said earlier, um, Henry Clay coming in 9 and 2. They just beat Lafayette, who's supposed to be, you know, one of the top teams in the region. Well, Lafayette this afternoon beats Paul Lawrence Dunbar, who is the top team in the region, according to many. It's either Dunbar or Franklin. I like Franklin. So the 11th region is up for grabs. I honestly believe anybody could beat anybody on any given night. I think the Indians can play. The only problem with the Indians I see, they have trouble matching up with the post. Cornette's really the only center size they have. So, you know, size is going to give the Lady Indians a little trouble. Well, the Indians could also get Raven Kane in there, too, um, if, they, if they wanted to get somebody else in yeah. the low post. Kane likes to play outside on the wing a little bit, forward. Three up, three off. Rebound. Lindsay. 26-17, a minute 17. Up to Willoughby. Quick shot, not even set. Wasn't ready. I like to see the Indians take their time on that one. Foul. They're going to get a foul on. Foul charge to number 21, Casey Schnott. It's her second. her second. So Casey has two and Kane has two. 17 fouls for the Indians, too. Do you leave Casey in the game this late? I don't. I have to pull her. Looks like that's the idea. Yep. Vance is going to replace her. I'd be afraid to leave her out there and let her pick up her third. So, you've got to pull her. It's a key part of the Indians. Yes. Uh, Snod has eight points in the first half. I mean, can't ill afford to lose her. She has eight of the 17. 57 seconds to go. See what the Indians can do here. 14 turnovers in the first half. That's all you need to know. You see why we're down 10. Um, Halftime, they have to adjust. They have to be able to handle this pressure. And they got to find a way to score. Willoughby picks up a dribble. Big Thought thing. about it. Big thing coming in the second half is to clean up that turnover margin. That's oh, what's yes. killed them. The 14 turnovers absolutely destroyed them. Basket, nobody picks her up. She could have went farther in. She didn't. Big rebound for Jackson inside. Hard to match up with that size. It, it truly is. I mean, Johns almost loses it. Or draws a foul against number 33. Exactly what you were saying earlier. She just needs to drive it in and get the foul. It's Hannah Young's first foul. Lindsey Johns at the line for two shots. Johns one for two from the free throw line in the night. First one's good. She hits this, it'll be a 10 point ball game. I was hoping to get it down about seven before a half, but 10 will have to do. Now if I'm central, I would almost think about walking up and meeting up with them. And use a little clock, but he drops back into the three-two. It'd been interesting to see the uh, yeah the little press right there. Look at that, oh, Cornette out of nowhere with a block. Four, three, shot, no, no foul, out of bounds, out of bounds. It's clock. 
Into the first half, 29 to 19. A special thank you to our great sponsors, Jack Burford Chevrolet in Richmond, State Farm Insurance, Jerry Goble, ExpressRoofing.net, Luxury Pet Service, Equipment Sales and Rentals, Tatum Enterprises, Cumberland Valley National Bank, First Gear, and Pro Signs. If you'd like to be a great sponsor of Madison County School Sports Television, give us a call 314-7291 or find us on Facebook or Madison County School Sports. Hello everyone, I'm Madison County School Superintendent Elmer Thomas and I want to thank you for watching Madison County School Sports Television. Follow Madison County School Sports Television on Twitter or like us on Facebook, MCS TV. And of course, watch all of our videos on YouTube. Twenty-four hours, seven days a week, twenty-four-seven. Madison County School Sports. Com. Hi, everybody. I'm Samantha Burford, and I want you to watch Madison County School Sports. Com. Follow Madison County School Sports Television on Twitter. Or like us on Facebook, MCS TV. And of course, watch all of our videos on YouTube. Make the most of your trip to the Red River Gorge in Kentucky with scenic cabin rentals or delight in the mountainside beauty of the Daniel Boone National Forest. Whether you are planning a long vacation or just looking for a few days away from it all, check out scenic-cabin.com. Our rental cabins and lodge are located close to the Red River Gorge and Natural Bridge Resort State Park. Family reunions, corporate retreats, weddings, and other large groups are very welcome. Cabins are available for small groups of two to six or large groups up to 15. All of our cabins Cabins are modern with city water, satellite TV, paved roads, full service kitchens, modern bathrooms and showers, decks, grills, and outdoor fire pits. Many have hot tubs and game rooms or gaming tables like pool or ping pong, foosball, and air hockey. A few have internet. Visit sceniccabin.com online or check us out on our Facebook page. Sceniccabin.com. Shouldn't you start planning that relaxing mountain getaway now? Welcome back to halftime at Mass Central High School. Lady basketball action, the Indians trail 29 to 19. Well, we knew it wasn't gonna be pretty with the stats and it wasn't. 15 turnovers for the Lady Indians. Eight for the Blue Devils, so. But sadly, we're six of 21 from the floor and that rounds out to 29%. Five of six from the line, so. But on a positive note, four block shots by Molly, Mally Cornette. Mally Cornette with four blocks. Only two points, but four blocks, three rebounds. Raven Kane did not score, 
but she has a blocked shot along the go with four rebounds. Willoughby, two boards, no points. Lindsey Johns, three rebounds, seven points. Eight points for Casey to go along with a rebound and a steal. And here comes that little press again. It's going to give the Indians some more trouble. Or does that? That's a foul. Yeah, thank you. Foul to three-point shooter. It's going to put Lindsey to the line. John's two or three from the first half from the free throw line. No, I thought Lindsey's three or four at the line first half. First one's good. Key to this half, watch the turnover, see how many they force and don't force. And smart decision making too. Try to drive on that press and uh, force them back into the zone. One to three. That's a foul. No call. Instead, they're going to wow. say Off she's Kane. A, looked to me like she was pushed out of bounds. Not too much argument from the bench, so. Still a nine-point ball game, 29-20. Blue Devils. Watch that back door. She's gonna drive, shot, off the mark. Board to Raven Kane. Raven's playing with two fouls along with Casey Snide's got a couple. Nice drive, that's what she had to do. Gotta use the iron. Cornette, where's the foul? Not gonna call it. Down the lane, up, and in for number 10. Who else? She was the one scoring. Levers. Levers, she was the one scoring most of the points for the Blue Devils in the first half. And the turnover margin once again. The first to the first half, second half. It's delaying time as gonna let a tower shoe. Looking across in the student section, we see the newest Alabama Crimson Tide. Damian Harris here to watch the Lady Indians play. Wearing the big Road Tide t-shirt. Harris went to school with most of these kids. He went to Madison Middle with them. Nice drive, kick, basket, good. Timeout, no, no timeout. Livers once again. Definitely wished uh, Damian Harris the best and uh, going to a great program in Alabama. Turnover. Yeah, I think he made the right decision for him. And such a great uh, guy, too. Uh, easy to talk to. Great kid. Went to school with his mother. She did him right. Snyder with a long three, no good. Bad gone it. Can't buy a basket. And with the backs of Alabama, too, you, you think about it. Mark Egram, Trent Richardson. Uh, that ah, that's a bank. Three-point basket by Wow. 36-20. Yeah. And the Blue Devils send the lead to 16. On a 7-1 run. 7-1 run. Till Kane broke. No, Kane did not break it. Johns couldn't grab the board. Regardless of being down 16, Johns has really been playing really hard. Cornette with the board, jump. They're gonna call the jump. It's gonna stay with the Devils. You're down 16, what do you do here, Don? Well, for one thing, you want them to do what Corksy just, Cooksy just said, the battle, don't quit. I hate to say it, but I'm seeing a little not quit, but they're giving it up easy right now. It's 18 point advantage. I take a timeout right now if it's me, and I pull them over and I talk to them, and I tell them if you don't want to play, there's seven more girls in this bench, it does. Hard foul there by number 25 of the Blue Devils. Gonna be a foul against the Devils. 
Foul charge to number 25, Kerrigan Davis. And he's getting some uh, two quick of shots. Uh, just need to settle down, see what they got. You can't get 18 points in one shot, unless you're playing the Harlem Globetrotters. You know, they may have an 18-point shot. But right now, your goal is to win every four minutes. Down to Cornette. Cornette battling hard. Foul, no call, out of bounds, Devils. Nice effort by Cornette. Had the right idea, but shot just didn't go. Jackson into the ball game. Green. green to the bench, number 22 for the Devils. 450 left in the third. And realistically, the Indians can make a drive here. They just need to calm down and make the plays. Yeah, Central needs to play hard. They come back Monday night and play a tough Montgomery County team. Foul is on number 21, Casey Schneid. Third. Casey's third. Montgomery's in the 10th region. They came off a hard loss last night. They played Lincoln County, and Lincoln, a really good ball club. Lost 52-87. Yeah, Lincoln's tough out of that 12th region. They're one of the top teams down that way. Cornette gets it, gets it ahead. Almost turnover. It is a turnover. Nah, that's great. I ain't going to count them. Drive, kick, basket, timeout. No. Still no timeout. It's 42-20. If the Indians lose this one, there'll be a four-game losing streak. It's a 13 to one run. That makes it 13 to three. John gets a basket. She has all three points in the second half. 20 point advantage. Again, I'm gonna say it. Get it to 10 before the half, before the fourth quarter. Setting up their offense. High post, back out. It's a 1-4 look, so comes a screen. Didn't use it. Almost turned it over. Cornette thought about making a jerk. Cornette, or Kane had it, lost it, out of bounds. Back to Henry Clay. Central's got one of their better lineups than Kane and Cornette. Um, down Snide. Low, Snide and Johns and Willoughby. Still got about three and a half of the third. Look, three two match. Watch 21 running. She's wide open in this corner if they skip it to her. Kick, no kick. Yeah, it's a kick. Well, late call though. Ah. He wouldn't have called that had not been subs at the line. So, and a young back in, 33. The 6 1 kid. In nine minutes, Young had three and four rebounds. I thought she'd have more rebounds than that. For the Indians in that first half, Cornette never came out. Neither did Willoughby or Johns. So fatigue might be sitting in on them by the end of this quarter. They haven't came out yet either. When do you look into uh, subbing one of them out and just letting them get a little breather? It's another kick. Well, you know, you look at your options on the bench, and if you don't have any really viable options, you let them play. But at the 20-point mark right now, you got to start thinking, when do you sub? High screen. She used it. Turnover by the Blue Devils. Cornette gets it. Turns Cornette it right got it. Turn it back over. Cooksey's wanting a technical, he ain't gonna get one. He'll have to really get on him hard. He's wanting a moving screen on that, didn't get it. It's a 22 point lead. And Snide's gonna go to the middle lane, up, and draws a foul. To the line for two will be Casey. That's really what the Indians need to be doing is just driving it in, try to get the foul, get them in foul trouble, and try to get the two points. That's yeah, the third foul on the Devils. I 
I like the idea of attacking with Snide and Jones. It seems like it's been really effective for them tonight. Seems like the best effort they have right now is to drive. First half, they were two of six from behind the line. Nine points for Snod now. Like I said, let's just get this down to 10 points. There we go to Johns. They're coming after. She gets it up. Casey to Raven. Kane moving her. Got to move over to the post. Cornette was a little slow reacting. Throws up an air ball. Got to remember, Central's still kind of a young team. They got a lot of sophomores out there. One, one senior in the Kane, in Raven Kane. But now, their bench has a couple of eighth graders on it. They're talented eighth graders, but they're still just eighth graders. Drive, Young, walked all over the gym, no call. And, uh, you know, it, even as young as Central is, they've showed signs of, of being yeah. great. But some of the things I think they should be doing personally, at, good save there. She didn't get the foul call, but she's able to save it. Willoughby, Cornette, Raven to take it and hit it. Raven. Her first basket of the ball game. Give Raven King two. Still a 21 but, point advantage for the Blue Devils, so. though. No, know, the things that I'm thinking they should be doing, they will be doing next year, so. Difference between Central and Southern now. Southern is a senior dominated team, upperclassman team. So, they do the, the little things I expect of them. I'm just not used to a young team and the Indians here. But they show signs. Casey puts it on the floor, drives, drew the foul. Foul turns number 55, Jordan Jackson. 46-25, 37 seconds left in the third quarter. Snod will try to cut it underneath 20 points here. Yeah. All season long, talking to the coaches, scoring has been a problem. They've had times where they just can't score. And then I, you watch one game like I watched at Brea Tournament, they put 30 up in the first half. They had a, one or two games here at home where they, uh, where they could really hit the three-point ball pretty well. And then there's a couple others where it's Central, hit and miss. Central into a press and a carry call forces a turnover. 32.1 left in the third. Looking into the central crowd, I see one of my former players here, Jessica Johnson, with her baby. Jessica was a coach on the staff when the Indians went to the state tournament two years. Played for me, I won't say when, to protect her age, but it was a little while ago. Kane, off the mark. 20-point lead, 20 seconds left, third quarter. Just a little easy one. Kane with the block, or the deflection. Young puts it back up and in, though. Make it 48, 26. Seven, six. They're going to just get it up to Cornette. She's going to save it, but to the wrong team. Back to Lindsay. Can she get a shot off? She does, and no good. At the end of three quarters, Indians have some work to do. They're down 48, 26. Back for the fourth quarter after this. A special thank you to our great sponsors, Jack Burford Chevrolet in Richmond, State Farm Insurance, Jerry Goble, ExpressRoofing.net, Luxury Pet Service, Equipment Sales and Rentals, Tatum Enterprises, Cumberland Valley National Bank, First Gear, and Pro Signs. If you'd like to be a great sponsor of Madison County School Sports Television, Give us a call, 314-7291, or find us on Facebook or MadisonCountySchoolSports.com.
small car, big coverage. Central High School, fourth quarter. Lady Indians have a big hill to climb if they want to get back in this one. 48-26, the Blue Devils are on top. 42 district foes in the Devils. Lindsay has it deflected, but Kane gets it and gets her fourth point. That's how we drew her up. We're going to throw it off that Blue Devil deflect. Timeout, Henry Clay. Henry Clay with the timeout. The quick T.O. It's a full. This is a full timeout. They take a quick full, so we'll take it with them. 20-point advantage for the Devils back after this. A special thank you to our great sponsors, Jack Burford Chevrolet in Richmond, State Farm Insurance, Jerry Goble, ExpressRoofing.net, Luxury Pet Service, Equipment Sales and Rentals, Tatum Enterprises, Cumberland Valley National Bank, First Gear, and Pro Signs. If you'd like to be a great sponsor of Madison County School Sports Television, give us a call, 314-7291, or find us on Facebook or MadisonCountySchoolSports.com. Hi, everybody. I'm Samantha Burford, and I want you to watch MadisonCountySchoolSports.com. Follow Madison County School Sports Television on Twitter. Or like us on Facebook, MCS TV. And of course, watch all of our videos on YouTube. Hello everyone, I'm Madison County School Superintendent Elmer Thomas. And I want to thank you for watching Madison County School Sports Television. Follow Madison County School Sports Television on Twitter. Or like us on Facebook, MCS TV. And of course, watch all of our videos on YouTube. Back to Mass Central after the quick timeout by the Devils. He took a quick one. He wanted to talk to him about something. Obviously, he wasn't happy with that drive by the Indians. You're up 20, but his 20-point lead can quickly be 10 if you're not careful. So, he's left some subs in. He's trying to get some playing time for everyone. Plus for the Blue Devils on oh, the road. number. Nope, here we go. Good trout. Good trout. Right to Yongo. But if you're the Blue Devils on the road, this is a great learning opportunity. Oh, yeah. It's always good when you nip that bench, especially on the road. Turnover for the Indians. Snide just couldn't afford a foul. She's already got three. Makes it 52-28. Yep. Indians trying to speed it up. Cornette's got it. It's man to man. Oh, it's, it's a zone, I'm sorry. It's a high zone. They're gonna match up outside. Gotta give you a guy. Boom. Three-point basket, number 21, Casey Snide's third three of the ball game, 52 to 31. That's Kane. Cool. I thought Kane should have had that steal. Somebody's got to be on the back side blocking out. Just a little bit quicker by the Indians. They would have had it. Willoughby puts it on the floor, drives. And it rejected by big 33. That's what happens in the 5-4. Willoughby goes against the 6-1. Young. Cornette offered that shot. Didn't block it, but offered it. Indians wanting to run now. Cooksey's telling them to get on it. Foul. Foul number five against the Devils. Indians only have one foul this half. Returning for Henry Clay, number 25, Kerrigan Davis, and number 23, Destiny Carter. 
Davidson Carter back in for the Devils. 6-0-1 left, fourth quarter. Turnovers, so they've been better for the Indians this half, but honestly those 15 turnovers in the, the first, first half killed you, didn't they? It's just awful hard to come back after that. A couple of rough nights for the Indians. Lincoln County last night, nice. Nobody matched up on the inside, I mean. That's basketball knowledge that will come as they get older. But how could you let someone 6-1 get open? At least stand in front of her. Well, after you get burned a couple of times, they'll remember to block out on those. Now these games are learning experiences. You'll have to play them in the postseason, so play them now. Nice job of selling the foul by Johns there, sends her to the line. She would go to line for two. And the Indians are in the bonus the rest of the ball game. Ten points in the game for Lindsay. Returning for Henry Clay is number 32. That's her fourth point, and the Indians are empty in the bench. Charity Mack checks in. Bailey Vanover. Jenna Pyatt, 32. Ansley Wood. And Charity Mack, 45. And we have one more at the table for the shooter. I think it's Carmen Caldwell. Here she comes. Also into the game for Madison Central, number five, Carmen Caldwell. So now you got a JV team, if you will, out there. Some, some of the young kids who don't get the varsity minutes. Vanover's a freshman. Caldwell's a sophomore. Uh, Jenna Pyatt, she's a sophomore. 32, Woods is an eighth grader. And Charity Mack, a sophomore. Charity Mack had a three-point shot last night in the JV game at Lincoln County to win it for the JV on the road. So De Definitely a promising future for the Indians. Yeah, the and much like them, we need to get the young guys some playing time here. The girls need to play. Big foul, that's gonna put number one, Vandover to the line. A lot of people, I've heard a lot of talk about Bailey Vanover. Um, people who know say she's gonna be a good point guard. She's 5'4", hopefully she grows a couple more inches, but. And she misses the first. Charity Mack runs it down, saves it into Bailey. Bailey controls. Caldwell on the floor, back to Vanover. Bailey drives, foul. Thank you. I think the refs want to go home. I believe so, too. Still got up four and a half left to go in the fourth play. Yeah, we get Bailey back to the line. And she hits the first. It's like uh, they're going to empty their bench. Well, not the night the Indians want it, but these nights happen. And from these nights, you know, you just learn from them. That's it's, all you can do. You got your young girls out playing now. They're going to get four minutes of varsity time. And they may show you something here on film that you may, they may get some more playing time out of it. This is your chance to get some more playing time. Step up. Now, a girl like Charity Mack or Vanover or Pyatt or the eighth grader Woods or Caldwell, this is your chance to get some playing time. Show the coaches what you can do in varsity action, game action. Well, the little time we've seen them, I, I really like how Vanover drives it into the basket. That's been nice. Yep. Charity Mack with the great effort. And I've heard great things about the eighth grader, Woods. I'm sorry, not Woods, Wood, Ansley Wood. The Caldwell girl looks like she can handle the rock, number five. I've known Jenna Pyatt's dad for years, so I know what kind of player she can be. 
Central's got a great looking future. And there's Jenner right there on cue getting the basket. Definitely within the next year or two, Central's gonna, they're going to have a pretty solid Just team. one senior in Kane, and Raven's a big piece of the puzzle over here. She will be missed. She's only the senior. There. She's the only senior, so everybody comes back. You imagine Cornette would probably step up her game a little Three bit. Three ball. Yeah, she'll be a junior. She'll be – she's been in two schools now and three schools in three years. I mean, that's just hard to do. She started at model, went to Catholic, and now she's a central. Woods out to Mack for three. No, it's a long two. It's a long two. Charity Mack. Still, you got to love the range. Mack a sophomore. What's good size? I mean, she's another Raven Kane looking player. Mack is listed at 5'10". Kane is 5'10", so she may step in and play the role of Raven Kane next season. Caldwell with the rebound. That's what I was going to say. Who knows? Charity Mack might be the next Raven Kane. Yeah. Over. Got to get the board. She does. Oh, Mack puts it on the floor and drives. Up and under. No good. Wood will go to the line for two. And she's only in eighth grade, too. Yes. There's another eighth grader on the bench. Uh, I believe that might be her. She might be injured. But Alex Stanley, I've heard good things about her. But... Yeah, I see the crutches on the bench. So. Yeah, I, I don't know if that's her or not, but yeah, I see a player in crutches, so. 217 left in the fourth quarter. It is 61 to 41. 61-41 is Ansley hits them both. This is Chad. Big Chad's freshman team out there, some of his young players. Deflection, out of bounds. They saved it and saved it into one of their own. Nice hands there by uh, Caldwell. Underneath, Wood. Caldwell with the fight. No, out of bounds, no. Number three, Alexis Lutz. We're gonna send Caldwell to the line for two shots. Ten team fouls by the Blue Devils. Double bonus here on out. Just one for the Indians. They didn't press. They stayed in the zone. So. Carmen Caldwell at the line. Had a lot, two lot of guys in uh, foul trouble there, so I, I feel like that's probably the reason why. Caldwell with the free throw. She missed the first. Too much herky jerky at the line for me. It's got to be more fluid in that free throw. Just come down and up. No need to dribble and dance. Back tap, still by Caldwell. Saved in the wood. Nope, taken away. Number three underneath for layup. Alexis Lutz. Lutz with the basket. She's just a freshman for Henry Clay. Pyatt over to Mac. Wood working down. It's a little too high. Probably should have been a bounce pass. Still Lutz again. Lutz. One sixteen to play. This was not going to end the way we wanted. But Caldwell commits the foul and one. Lexi Long. Looking at the game though. Lexi Long to line to finish the three point play. Looking at the game overall, who do you think will be the Jack Burford play of the game? I like Casey Snide. Casey hit three threes, knocked down some free throws. I mean, you can give it to her, give it to Lindsey, Johns. I would say Snide. I like, really, really like the energy she came out with. Yeah. Same with uh, Johns, but uh, I really like how Snide played. 103 left in the in the ball game. So, Jack Burford, Charlotte player of the game, is number 21, Casey Snide. Pressure was just a little much for the Indians tonight. And the size inside, I mean, it is hard to go against that 6-1 and 5-11 sometimes. Under a minute. Yep, under a minute. 68-41. They're going to hit 68. They're going to hit 70. That's a jump ball. Stay jump here. Possession now keeps it with Henry Clay. 
you know, in this situation, I've been on both sides as a coach. I've had my lickings, and I've been on side of this. You hate to see your team score up 68-41, but you can tell your young kids not to play. Right. And Coach Cooksey and Lakes and and Lovely and all of them understand that. So it's not a running up the score by no stretch. These girls want to get in the book as well as anybody. Plus, it's just great experience for younger. Yeah. So, you know, you're thinking, why are the kids still trying to score? It's instinct to score, I mean. These girls don't play varsity minutes, and they're going to hold it out here for the final 12-11. 68-41 will be the final. Not what we wanted, but. But a good learning curve for the Indians. Indians, a couple of tough nights here, Lincoln County. And now Henry Clay. And won't be easy Monday night against Montgomery. So. One more time, Jack Burford, Chevrolet player of the ball game, was 21, Casey Snide, and the final 68-41. Well, anything to add? No, that pretty much covers He was ugly. It was I ain't going to lie. Um, well, for Donald Foster, for Tyler Ross, we thank you for watching, and we'll catch you in the gym next time. Special thank you to our great sponsors, Jack Burford Chevrolet in Richmond, State Farm Insurance, Jerry Goble, ExpressRoofing.net, Luxury Pet Service, Equipment Sales and Rentals, Tatum Enterprises, Cumberland Valley National Bank, First Gear, and Pro Signs. If you'd like to be a great sponsor of Madison County School Sports Television, Give us a call, 314-7291, or find us on Facebook or MadisonCountySchoolSports.com. Hey, everyone. My name's Alex, and I want you to watch MadisonCountySchoolSports.com. Hello, everyone. I'm Madison County School Superintendent Elmer Thomas, and I want to thank you for watching Madison County School Sports Television. Follow Madison County School Sports Television on Twitter, or like us on Facebook, MCS TV, and of course, watch all of our videos on YouTube. Make the most of your trip to the Red River Gorge in Kentucky with scenic cabin rentals or delight in the mountainside beauty of the Daniel Boone National Forest. Whether you are planning a long vacation or just looking for a few days away from it all, check out sceniccabin.com. Our rental cabins and lodge are located close to the Red River Gorge and Natural Bridge Resort State Park. Family reunions, corporate retreats, weddings, and other large groups are very welcome. Cabins are available for small groups of two to six or large groups up to 15. All of our cabins are modern with city water, satellite TV, paved roads, full service kitchens, modern bathrooms and showers, decks, grills, and outdoor fire pits. Many have hot tubs and game rooms or gaming tables like pool or ping pong, foosball, and air hockey. A few have internet. Visit sceniccabin.com online or check us out on our Facebook page. Sceniccabin.com. Shouldn't you start planning that relaxing mountain getaway now? The following is in smokeless tobacco. Cadmium. Formaldehyde. Lead. Nicotine. Nitrosamines. Polonium-210. Hydrazine. Benzopyrene. And uranium-235. Don't be a dip. Don't dip. According to the Centers for Disease Control, the definition of binge drinking is having five drinks over the course of two hours. When done excessively, this may eventually lead to memory loss, unwanted pregnancy and sexually transmitted diseases, cancer, excessive vomiting, alcohol poisoning.
possibly death. Nathan, can you hear me? If you don't want to swallow any of this, chances are the next tube you put in your mouth won't be a good time. For more information on binge drinking, please visit the Centers for Disease Control website at www.cdc.gov. You know, fans, when we were uh, actually doing a ball game, Randy and I talked a lot of times about how important rebounding, turnovers, and free throw shooting, how important those three things are. And uh, what we thought we'd do today is show you the free throw shooting part is really important. We always say on the, on the air, free throws, you got to make them. Why? Because they're free. They're free. So they named them that for a reason. So we're going to do a little uh, free throw shooting competition, best out of five between Randy and I. And we'll just show you how easy free throws are to make. As you can see, Randy, they are free. What's so hard about free throws? Come on, boys and girls, hit your free throws. You'll win the game. A special thank you to our great sponsors, Jack Burford Chevrolet in Richmond, State Farm Insurance, Jerry Goble, ExpressRoofing.net, Luxury Pet Service, Equipment Sales and Rentals, Tatum Enterprises, Cumberland Valley National Bank, First Gear, and Pro Signs. If you'd like to be a great sponsor of Madison County School Sports Television, give us a call 314 7291 or find us on Facebook or Madison County School Sports.com. Hey everyone, my name's Alex and I want you to watch MadisonCountySchoolSports.com. Hello everyone, I'm Madison County School Superintendent Elmer Thomas and I want to thank you for watching Madison County School Sports Television. Follow Madison County School Sports Television on Twitter or like us on Facebook, MCS TV. And of course, watch all of our videos on YouTube. Make the most of your trip to the Red River Gorge in Kentucky with scenic cabin rentals or delight in the mountainside beauty of the Daniel Boone National Forest. Whether you are planning a long vacation or just looking for a few days away from it all, check out sceniccabin.com. Our rental cabins and lodge are located close to the Red River Gorge and Natural Bridge Resort State Park. Family reunions, corporate retreats, weddings, and other large groups are very welcome. Cabins are available for small groups of two to six or large groups up to 15. All of our Cabins are modern with city water, satellite TV, paved roads, full-service kitchens, modern bathrooms and showers, decks, grills, and outdoor fire pits. Many have hot tubs and game rooms or gaming tables like pool or ping pong, foosball, and air hockey. A few have internet. Visit sceniccabin.com online or check us out on our Facebook page. Sceniccabin.com. Shouldn't you start planning that relaxing mountain getaway now? The following is in smokeless tobacco, cadmium, formaldehyde, lead, nicotine, nitrosamines, polonium-210, hydrazine, benzopyrene, and uranium-235. Don't be a dip. Don't dip. According to the Centers for Disease Control, the definition of binge drinking is having five drinks over the course of two hours. 
when done excessively, this may eventually lead to memory loss, unwanted pregnancy, and sexually transmitted diseases, cancer, excessive vomiting, alcohol poisoning. possibly death. If you don't want to swallow any of this, chances are the next tube you put in your mouth won't be a good time. For more information on binge drinking, please visit the Centers for Disease Control website at www.cdc gov. You know, fans, when we were uh, actually doing a ball game, Randy and I talked a lot of times about how important rebounding, turnovers, and free throw shooting, how important those three things are. And uh, what we thought we'd do today is show you the free throw shooting part is really important. We always say on the, on the air, free throws, you got to make them. Why? Because they're free. They're free. <laughs> so they named them that for a reason. So we're going to do a little a free throw shooting competition, best out of five between Randy and I, and we'll just show you how easy free throws are to make. As you can see, Randy, they are free. What's so hard about free throws? Come on, boys and girls, hit your free throws. You'll win the game. <laughs>